can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. It's something to see, yeah. I see you running from me. It's something to see. Dog shit, I stand, bro. I home, nigga. I'm trying to drive. What are you talking about? I'm home. The fuck up in there. Topic at hand. Yeah, bro. Speaking with your chest, bro. So, something I realized is that I've had an insurmountable, an insurmountable of real people fuck with me because I spoke with my chest. Like, I just tell people the facts. I tell them how I feel about something. Someone's telling me how a girl's telling them. I'm like, bro, she's getting needed. And they're like, damn, bro. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. But then they always are always like, nah, bro, but you're just keeping it a buck. And niggas respect that, bro. People who want to be treated with respect, and then if you treat them with that respect, they will reciprocate. Therefore, if you keep it 100% a buck, 100% of the time, you'll be getting 100% respect. Nigga, it's a common math. It's a simple equation, bro. Real plus nigga equals respect. Anyways, yeah, bro. And I just, I just really, like I said, I cannot stand these niggas who don't speak with their chest, bro. Like, because that happens so much, and this is why, this is why people, people who don't speak with their chest is exactly why the ones who do are respected. Because I will talk to someone about a problem I have, and I could talk to at least like 50 of them, and it's gonna take that 50th one to say something different. That's actually real as fuck. Like, it's gonna take that 50th one to say something that I don't want to hear. Something I, I would rather be spared hearing from someone else even though I, I might know it's true or something you know what I mean and so that's why to me if you really do like just want to be known as a real ass nigga like you want to be a good friend bro always tell the truth always tell them how you feel and always let them know like hey bro like I'm not saying this to be mean I'm not saying this to hurt your feelings but like this is how I feel and um I'm telling you if you do that bro like your relationships will develop so much better. So much better. That's what I've noticed. Like, like I said, like, if you tell people the honest truth all the time, and even the hard truth they don't want to hear, they will like you so much more because they know they can come to you for advice and for trusting. And it, they can come to you to trust you. So, yeah, that's why I fuck with speaking with your chest, bro. This video has definitely been long enough. So, uh probably cut it off there i mean i don't think i was talking for that long in this video because i got fucked on the camera not camera on the, on the on the phone mount and i got fucked with my phone overheating and i got fucked because i needed gas i got fucked like 50 times bro no condom anyways i'm not all right you guys have a good day have a beautiful night look at the beautiful florida streets Oh, I can't flip the camera around because I'm on the fucking camera. You guys have a beautiful day. You guys have a good night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what I should make videos on next. Let me know if you want to see gameplay in these videos that I'm on. And let me know if you guys prefer music on or music off. Also, last but not least, let me know if you how you feel about niggas who don't sleep with their chest or shit like that. Because, like, I already I made a whole video about it, bro. These niggas are so phony. They be so phony. You know what I mean? And then you call them out and they shit and they be like, mm. and that's the thing. Oh my gosh. I can talk about this shit. Look y'all there. That's the thing with these niggas, man. You call these niggas out on being on some bullshit all the time. And then they either want to get mad at you or make you seem delusional. And it's like, bro, you never keep it a fucking buck, bro. Shut the fuck up. Lame ass shit. So, I just wanted to add a little bit more onto that video, because it was supposed to be this super cool, dope fucking video where I, like, edited me getting in my car, and, like, edited me looking at the stupid-ass fucking phone mount, and it's just, this was gonna be some cool shit, and then it didn't turn out to be like that, and then on top of that, I lost a lot of footage, so it was just really cool, and I enjoyed that part a lot. But, um, what's up, y'all? I just wanted to say, with the speaking on your chest thing, especially now that I'm a lot more focused and I reviewed that footage that yeah bro i do feel like if you speak with your chest you're gonna be a lot more respected and the things that you say out of your mouth you're gonna also believe them a lot more than you would if you don't um when you speak with your chest you are a lot more 
speaking with your soul in a way as like you're saying what you feel and that's why people who don't speak with their chest are some of the people that like most people would kind of think are fake or just like hiding something or you know just like not completely like a, a real ass nigga because when you speak with it when you don't speak with your chest you're usually just fibbing bro you're lying you're saying some bullshit all the time you're not confident in your words you're not confident in the things you're saying and you your your personality represents that it shows itself so um I always speak with your chest as much as it might be hard to do it as much as sometimes it might just not be something you think you should do because you don't want to hurt someone's feelings or you don't want to do something bad or you don't want to get involved in something you don't want to get involved with you should still always speak with your chest and tell people how you feel because the only person you're hurting if you don't is yourself and you're making your personality like worse right just not telling the truth all the time you should be a hundred percent honest and integral person and the respect and work will show itself if you do that so yeah, I do think speaking with your chest is pretty fucking fantastic, honestly. I do think it's pretty spectacular, cool sauces, whatever you want to fucking call this shit. And that everyone should do it, bro. Because, like, I was not lying when I said it. I get mad when you fucking pussy-ass jits be speaking under your fucking breath. You don't be saying shit you fully believe in. Don't be talking how you want to talk. Don't be saying how you feel. Like, that shit gets me so fucking mad, bro. Because all we have is communication, bro. We're humans. All humans have evolved from is being together and communicating with each other bro that's our number one fucking superpower so if you're dumb stupid dumb ugly ass can't fucking tell the truth for five seconds of your life what are you here for anyways <laughs> anyways yeah so i hope that you guys uh are a lot more honest with yourselves and the people around you and i hope you guys are able to tell others around you to be honest because an honest world would make an honest living. I don't know what that means, but you know, I could probably figure something out. Type shit. But yeah, bro, speak with your chest and always keep it a buck, bro. Never be fake, never be a fu uh, fuck nigga, never be lame, never be a jit. Y'all have a beautiful night. Y'all keep walking. Y'all keep night nighting. Y'all do y'all thinging. And uh, I'll see y'all soon, ting. And I'll see y'all soon.